U.S. Army conducted important tests of the latest precision strike missile, PRSM, at the White Sands Testing Range in New Mexico. During the tests, two launches were carried out from the highly mobile artillery rocket system M142 Hamars. Both projectiles successfully reached their designated targets, which included a simulated Scud-class ballistic object, radar installations and rotary wing platforms. Lockheed Martin stated that these successful tests bring the missile closer to full-scale production, following previous test launches and the first soldier-operated test. The Precision Strike Missile, PRSM, is an advanced weapon system developed under the Long Range Precision Fires, LRPF, program, designed to replace the outdated MGM-140 Army Tactical Missile System, ADICMS. The missile measures approximately 4 meters in length and 430 millimeters in diameter, allowing for two missiles to be housed in a single launch pod. This design doubles the payload capacity of the M270 MLRS and M142 Hamars compared to the previously used single-missile Atticms pods. The missile is equipped with a solid-fuel engine and an inertial navigation system with GPS correction, ensuring high accuracy. Its warhead consists of preformed tungsten fragments designed to destroy strategically important targets such as air defense systems, missile launchers, command centers, and troop concentrations. The system's flexibility is further enhanced by its modular architecture, which allows for upgrades and adaptation to new missions. The development of PRSM began under a weapons program with competition for the contract among three companies, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Raytheon. However, Lockheed Martin remained the sole contender. The first serially produced missiles were delivered to the U.S. Army. In one of the tests, PRSM was used to destroy the decommissioned amphibious ship USS Cleveland in the Mariana Islands region, marking the first confirmed use of the missile against a moving naval target. A recent contract valued at up to $120 million aims to expand production capacity to 400 missiles per year. Initially, PRSM's operational range was limited to 500 kilometers under the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces INF, treaty. However, after the U.S. withdrawal from the treaty, longer-range modifications were developed. The first of these, PRSM Increment 1, already exceeds the 500-kilometer restriction, while future versions will include enhancements in targeting and guidance. The Increment 2 version will feature a multi-mode seeker, allowing it to engage moving targets on both land and sea. This development phase is also known as the land-based anti-ship missile Ulbasm, and is being implemented in collaboration with Australia, which signed an agreement with the U.S. In the future, Australia plans to acquire Increment 3 and Increment 4 versions, which will include upgraded warheads for striking heavily fortified targets and improved aerodynamics and propulsion to extend the missile's range beyond 1,000 kilometers. Additionally, there is consideration for developing a fifth iteration of PRSM compatible with autonomous launch platforms such as the Autonomous Multi-Domain Launcher, AML, an unmanned variant of the M142 HIMARS. According to Brigadier General Rory Crooks, who oversees the Long Range Precision Fires program, these developments are still in the research and exploration phase. The Precision Strike Missile represents a significant advancement in U.S. Army tactical missile systems. Continuous technological improvements, increased range and accuracy, and integration with new platforms make it a key element of modern weaponry. Collaboration with international partners and the expansion of production capabilities underscore PRSM's strategic importance in ensuring the combat readiness of U.S. ground forces and their allies in the coming decades.